Hey guys, today I'm going to be installing some interior lights on my 05 Forerunner. This works for all 4th gen Forerunners. The kit I got here is uh, from Bryshine, 17 pieces. Comes with the rear license plate lights as well for the rear hatch. So we're going to go ahead and install those. So here you can see all the different lights it includes. Got map, dome, vanity mirror, glove box, trunk. Uh, footwell door and license plate we have a little install tool right here and then the tips to be honest I didn't even know we had a glove box LED but it's probably been bad for so long I never even realized it but uh, I guess we have all these different lights in the package right here that it came in so I guess we'll find out and uh, put all these where they need to go first things first of course got to turn off the uh, power so I'm gonna go ahead unplug the battery before I even start this and then we should be good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and start with these lights up here. Basically, all you gotta do is just fit your tool in here and pull down. And it comes out just like that. You can see there's uh, the tabs that you're basically pulling on. You want to pull from the middle so you don't break a tab. Should just be able to pull this light out. Should just be able to wiggle it out is what it looks like right here. Footwell, door, and map all look the same. So you can just take one of these and uh, go ahead and just slide that sucker right back in there. There's one. All good to go. Because of the inner one, you want to slide it in and then push it up. Next, you're going to have your center dome light. So it just sits in like that. And so you want to get your tool, wiggle it in there, and it'll come down. And then you just pull out because it just slides into these two tabs up here. This is what the stock one looks like. And then you have this one right here. So as you can see, it's only one side. So then the heat dissipates on the other. And then when you put it in there, you can actually toggle it to where you want it to point to the light the most. And I'm probably gonna have it pointed uh, back since I have these up here. And if someone needed to turn it on, it's not blinding my point of view. Pull on this little tab right here, and then it should just pop right out. The uh, process for this light in the back is the same for this one. You just pull those little tabs. Also, the uh, I don't have the window or the mirror lights, so I'm not even gonna bother installing those on either one of them. Um, so I guess I'll just hold on to those and we'll move on to the next ones. All right, so for the door one, it was hard to get with the prying tool. It started to kind of crease it a bit, so I got a really thin screwdriver that worked a lot better. And so when you get it, it brings out the entire light assembly and then you just want to put the screwdriver back behind here and pry the little tabs to get the cover off once you've done that it exposes the door light and it'll be like that for all four sides this is just the driver side and then you can go ahead and replace it with your new uh, led right here so after looking in quite a few places or i don't have the vanity mirrors some of the other models might have them so if that's you, go ahead and install those. Kind of like what it says here, that some of them are positive and negative. Uh, we don't have footwell lights. I did the dome and the trunk, so this one is almost like an extra one because I have the dome there and dome in the back. Um, did the door ones. Now moving on to the license plate, which is in the back. Okay, so moving on to the license plate lights, you're gonna wanna go ahead and get a Phillips. There's two little screws under here that you're gonna wanna go ahead and get for each one. So once you do that, you're gonna expose the bulb back there and go ahead and replace it with the one that it shows on the diagram um, and this is also a good time to take your lens cover and wash it so I'm gonna go ahead and wash it and then go ahead and put the bulbs in and install it all back all right so here's them 
clean. Uh, just wash them out. And these grooves, just take your time to get the dirt out so then that they can seal properly and uh, be more weather protected. Um, and then you can go ahead, toss them back in the car with the new lights and we should be good to go. You can see the LED light, uh, LED lights turning on. Here's the door. You can see it looks a lot brighter and the cabin looks a ton better. Much more visible, especially like when I'm gonna be going off-roading, just being able to see a lot better. Top lights, extremely bright. See just about everything I need to. After a while, I didn't realize it did have the glove box light in it. So here's a picture of what it looks like. What you want to do is get a little flathead and pull on the tab to bring down the cover. Once you've done that, then you can go ahead and get the bulb out. It's in a really tough location. So this is the tool I used to extract the bulb and put in the new LED. You want to be careful not to squeeze it too hard and break it so that you can't take it out or you have to take out a bunch of pieces from your dash to actually extract the bulb and replace it. Here you can see what it looks like after I have put in the LED. It's a lot brighter and it's made a big difference when trying to find something in my glove box. And then go ahead, look at the, the back looks a ton better with that LED. I definitely recommend anyone who's definitely deciding on whether they should do it or not. Um, how much brighter and how much makes a difference.